there's 21,000 people that were nominated and I was shortlisted with five people out of the 21,000. So um, actually, I, I ignored the email for one day <laughs> because I thought <laughs> I thought they emailed the wrong person, <laughs> you know. <laughs> then um, I had two people text me saying, Pauline, do you know you've been nominated? You, you're in the final um, National Diversity Award. I said, um, well, which one? Because I, I know that I was nominated. People were nominating me for positive role model. So I went to the website. And I didn't see my name as a positive role model. And uh, I, I text back to the lady. I said, no, 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 my name is not there. She said, yes, your name is there. So she said, I, and I said, where? It's at the, the Lifetime Achievement Award. I said, how did they come from positive role model to Lifetime Achievement Award? Amazing. Amazing. And, Incredible. And you went there and it's all true. Do you need to, to pinch yourself? It's all true. And I was like, oh, my goodness, you know. And my manager was like, do you realize how big that is? I was like, OK, <laughs> you know, because I'm so modest. I was like, wow. I was just like, come down. <laughs> so now you've been nominated for that. Of course, it's been sponsored by Microsoft and The Guardian. Yes. But what happens next now for you? Um, well, well, there's, there's, there's so much press um, that I'm doing at the moment for it. And um Obviously, everybody's talking about it. And on the 26th of September, that's the big day um, when hopefully one of the five, which includes me, one of the five is going to take the award. <laughs> but, you know, for me, it's, you know, being amongst the five is, is a big deal already. You know, if I don't win, then that's fine. If I win, that's fine. <laughs> you know? As they say, uh, publicity is good. Sometimes if yes. it's bad or good, it's pretty, isn't it? Yes. I mean, to be picked up from 21,000 people, they send an email saying, congratulations, out of 21,000 people, you've made it to the final five. Now, you are very modest. Uh, what do you think what it was that uh, made people nominate you and, and you get inside the last five? I think is it's because of my success and the way I define my success is what I've done for people. You know, it's not what I've done for myself, what I've done for people. And, you know, in the black community, you know, everybody says, oh, Pauline has done this for me. Pauline did that for me. Or, you know, through the BEFTA Awards, through my mentoring scheme and through so many other things that I do. I think that's that's the reason why. Even in the beginning, mm -hmm. when you set out before the BEFTA Awards and so on, you always wanted to help other people. Yeah. Well, what? Where does that come from? That inspiration to want to do that? Um, do you know what? I owe it all to my grandfather, my late granddad. You know, um, I used to go to the village from the age of uh, about six. I, I come from a family of eleven, and. During the school holidays, I'm the only one who decided, you know, always said, I want to go to the village, you know, because I was born in the city. But, you know, school holidays, time to go to the village. And I watched my granddad, you know. You know, in Africa, there's, there's a homestead, a big homestead. But this homestead hasn't got a gate. People can walk through. So uh, you're looking forward. Is there anything else you've got to do? But now you've been short this in the five. Is there anything you've got to do on the day or beforehand? Uh, to I mean, wouldn't it be great? Yes, if, I, if, I have been asked to um, get a few people to do shout out. And I've written to my PR based in Kenya to get the president of Kenya to give me a shout out. Um, I'm going to try and get David Cameron to give me a shout out. <laughs> I'm going to get you, Mark, to give me a shout out. Pauline, you've got <laughs> a shout out. And Mayor of Northampton as well, you know? Yeah. So you can give me a shout out live on air, actually. Uh, this Pauline is why I Lawrence. deserve this award. <laughs> <laughs> you've done great work in the community and you continue to do that. So, um, And of course, uh, the BEFT Awards, which you're the founder of, yes. thousands of people attend that each year. And mm -hmm. you look at the, the success it's promoting and bringing through uh, new and, pr and present talent, don't you? Yes, um, it's been going on for five years. This this is now the wow. sixth year. This year it's going to be the sixth. And um, we've already got the date set, the 24th and 25th of October. Um, the public nominations are open. We just opened them uh, the first week of, of August. So the public is nominating. And um, I think it's going to be um, groundbreaking because mm -hmm. so many people are being nominated. It's going to be hard for the team. How different is this year's event compared to last year's event? Last year was two days. 
Um, it again is two days because we've now gone past. <laughs> you know, we we can't be reducing the numbers. It's it's two days again, and um, it's it's going it's going to be quite big because we have a lot of international stars coming in. Um, I mean, we have um, the first runner up of Holland pop idol headlining. You know, this year wow. Natalie Macoma. And so we we're expecting a lot of um, a lot of celebrities, a lot of you know non celebrities, people in the community, just coming to celebrate as usual, just coming to honor and coming to celebrate. This this uh, finish off finish. And I know you're waiting for the good news. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yes, and and guess what? And I know I know I didn't give you the exclusive, but last week uh, I was on BBC Marzi side and I gave them an exclusive, and I. Want to give you an exclusive well, because we course. are we are going to be live BEFTA Europe in Holland on the 29th of November. Really? Yeah. So the, Belgium, France, and all of them. Fantastic. And then yes. After a person who's made it uh, your business to find out, search, and seek mm -hmm. people in the community are doing great things mm -hmm. um, in African Caribbean communities. Um, how does this feel for you to be now? being nominated for award because normally you're giving awards out yes and, and, and you know what <laughs> that's my joy that's my happiness you know just to see people move from one stage to the next the one of the reason why i started the BEFTA awards is the frustration that i saw in my people so many talented talent was going to waste people were giving up you know until i was of course awarded the most innovative kenyan in the uk in 2009 when i was about to give up the pageant mm -hmm. that i was doing and it just lifted me up and so the reason why i started the BEFTAs was to lift people up and the amount of people that BEFTA's lifted up is just absolutely phenomenal. Yeah. It's, it's amazing. For me, that's my joy. That's why I don't know how to celebrate my own National well, Diversity Award. Asking. I don't know. I'm, my <laughs> manager's like, you're too modest. What's wrong with you? I'm like, it's no big deal. I just want to elevate the other people. You know, I want to elevate them. That's that's all I want to do. Well, you've you've come here. You're, you're, you're a Northamptonian lady now. Yes, you, li you live in our. Account. I need to wake you, up. I'm yeah. from Northampton, yes. not London. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, but uh, is there anything that we can do to to give you any support for this award? Yes, I want the entire Northampton to know that a woman from Northampton is being awarded from the entire nation. One of five from the entire nation, you know, from Northampton. I'm representing Northampton. So I want them to, I don't know, give me a shout out. I don't know. Just be happy for me. Just say something. Well, <laughs> are you going to come back and give us the exclusive if it is, if it is you who picks up that number one prize? Is it, are you going to come back and share? Do you believe in prayer? Of course. Yeah. So pray every day. 